Hi everybody, um, here is the introduction to the how-to video of how to do a lip dub. Hopefully by now you've already watched our lip dub from last year, so you kind of have a general idea of what it is we're expecting from you. Um, but here's the map and what it is that we're going to be doing. So our first song is going to be um, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. So we are going to walk into the school um, and the drum line is going to be at the front area of the school by the stairs with a few different people who have guitars and they're going to be rocking out to Sweet Child of Mine. From there, we are going to turn left. On here, it looks like we're turning right, but we promise you we're turning left and we're going to go down A-Wing. We've never been down A-Wing before, so we're going down A-Wing this year. Um, through A-Wing, um, basically we're going to need as many people as possible to be hanging out in A-Wing, but we're going to need a little bit of room as well because we're going. the plan is to have the robot from the robotics club in A-Wing. So if you can, uh, I'm going to say we probably need 150 people or so to be packed into A-Wing uh, as we go through it. And from Sweet Child of Mine, it's going to switch over to uh, MC Hammer Can't Touch This. And the people that are going to be responsible for that are Sydney and Deja. Sydney and Deja, come up here so people know who you are so they know to stay out of your way. Sydney and Deja. <laughs> So we're going to be traveling down um, A-Wing uh, and then going up the stairs. So if you want to be around the staircase, that's fine, but please make sure that you don't get in the way of the actual um, shot that we're doing. Um, and when, you're pe when we're going by, you're, you're cheering and you're dancing and you're doing all that stuff. Please make sure that you're not doing anything inappropriate. Last year we had a problem because we were going to send in our lip dub to Good Morning America and we couldn't because there were three things that happened in the lip dub. A few different people who decided to do some things that they shouldn't have done. Please don't do that again this year. We please don't do that again this year. We haven't been putting this together for a week and a half just for it to be destroyed in a matter of seconds. Um, we're going to go upstairs into uh, the second level. We're going to come down A-Wing. So we need another group of students who ever did not go to uh, A-Wing first level. We're going to need you waiting for us in A-Wing second level. So if you don't go to the first level of A-Wing, go to the second level of A-Wing. We'll again need you in the hallways uh, to be cheering as we're going by and dancing and celebrating and all that stuff. We don't want to see any white space in terms of the white of the halls or the red of the um, locker doors. We just want to make sure that there's a lot of people everywhere. Um, from there, we are actually going to go in through my classroom, um, in through the green screen room, and into the media center. And from what I'm told, the cheerleaders are going to be in the media center. Um, and then we also need about probably 30 people from A100 floor. Once you're done with that uh, shot, we need you to run up to the media center um, and make sure that you are there waiting for us for when we come in the media center. By then we're going to be doing Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Um, and then from there we're going to walk out of the media center and actually go down the, um, down the elevator for an elevator interlude. Um, so we probably need about 30 people to go to the media center from A100 wing and we probably need about 30 people to be standing outside of the um, outside of the library from A100 Wing. Um, so if you were in A100 Wing, go do that. If you weren't, then you were in A200 Wing. From there, um, we're going to be going downstairs, so we're going to head back to the first floor. Um, we're going to come out of the elevator and to Ice Ice Baby and Malia and Brittany, come on over here and wave hi to the camera because they're responsible for Ice Ice Baby, so you know who's responsible for it. We need you all hanging out in the Main Street area. Um, so we're going to go from here into the theater. So uh, if you were in A200 hallway, what I'd like for you to do is to go down the stairs, go down these stairs on the side so that you stay out of the shot after we come past you, and run to Main Street so that you are set for that picture that we're going to do there. Also, we're going to need people to crowd into the theater because those are going to be our next couple shots. From the theater, uh, we're also going to have the football team in the theater. So if you are a football player, you need to make sure that you are in the theater. The football players are going to be probably the first couple rows, and then everybody else can be behind that. Um, but we're going to have a concert featuring classic MKTO. Um, and Austin, Barwick, get over here. 
and a couple other people are going to be responsible. They're going to be on stage for that. Say hi to Austin. Um, so your help to be in the theater to make sure that it looks like we're all there rocking out and having a great time. Um, from the theater, we're going to go uh, out the back door and the um, flag corps. Whoa, that's not printing out very well. The flag corps is going to be set up and they're going to be doing um, the refrain. Is that what it's called? The thing that goes over and over again? The chorus. It's the chorus of a song. The chorus of a song. Sorry, Ms. Wondolowski and Mr. Kirby. It's been a long time since I've had a choir class. Um, the chorus of the song for classic MKTO, they're going to be doing a flag corps um, routine to that. From there, we're going to go into the girls' locker room where the volleyball team is going to be set up. We're going to go into the pool where you've got David Vega and Zach Taylor's group from, come on, you can wave hi. Um, like we had last year, uh, doing, and then we're going to be going up the stairs of the multi-purpose room um, onto the track where the cross-country team is going to be running laps on the track. So if you need a place to be, ask, but hopefully we can have A100 wing full, we can have A200 wing full, we can have the library packed with some people. Main Street packed with people, the theater packed with people, and then once we leave the theater, if you were in the theater, head straight to the gym. Because as soon as we get um, go out the multi-purpose room into the gym, we're going to need as much enthusiasm as possible as we walk into the gym um, from the second floor. And you're going to be there cheering and screaming. I'll have somebody go ahead of me, then let you know about 10 or 15 seconds before I get there that we're coming to make sure that as soon as we walk in, you're dancing and singing and all that good stuff and cheering for Whitmore. If you have questions about any of this, ask me. Ask anybody that's in this class. So just have fun. Participate in it. Um, if you don't want to participate in it, kind of stand off to the side. But if we do still go by you, please make sure that you're dancing and cheering. Whoever was in Main Street, we need to make sure that you head to the pool after we go into the theater so that we have people in the pool area. And then um, as far as the multi-purpose room, if you were in the library um, and outside the library, if you could run to the top of the multi-purpose room and be there when we walk through, that'll be perfect. So I hope this covered everything and I hope this makes a lot more sense than the last time. I feel like I've been talking for probably 10 minutes and I'm sorry, but happy lip dubbing.